Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and we're here with the fire signs reading for December which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius so we're going to do some read some tarot got some love messages and we've got some guidance messages so we're going to jump right straight right in with the tarot so let's see what your messages are for December we're just going to clarify these as well so with four of coins queen of swords nine of swords Five of coins, five of swords, three of coins, king of cups, three of cups, two of wands, eight of swords, the chariot. I forgot to do your overall message. Your overall message for the month is beautiful, so let's get your message. This card shows what a beautiful soul you have and a beautiful life will be yours in time. People may tell you how beautiful you're looking due to a mini makeover or new health kick, which will make you shine brighter than normal and you'll feel really good about yourself. Your natural beauty is coming from your beautiful, kind, caring heart. You may have just been through some turmoil or helped others through some emotional upheavals and felt drained by the experience. You have done a lot for others and now it's your turn to sparkle. So that's beautiful. Beautiful message. So let's get your tarot. So we've got four of coins. So you may have felt, you know, a feeling of lack. You may have felt that you couldn't afford to be generous maybe before. Um, with time or finances, you were sort of holding on to what you had. It's been a very difficult year, obviously, financially for a lot of people. So we've got the hanging man. So you're just biding your time, I feel, right now until things improve in the world and in your life, maybe, at this time. We've got Queen of Swords. We've got the Two of Cups. So this could be somebody in your life that you know, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or this could be you in that energy, you're feeling defensive. But we've got this Queen of Cups, this uh, Two of Cups energy here. So there's somebody that you are in love with and you want to exchange your cup with, is what I'm getting here. Let's clarify that. Got the Ten of Wands. So you've been through a struggle, you've been through a difficult time. This could be in, this, in a relationship with somebody, but you have love to share with this person. But the Ten is you're at the end, okay, you're at the end of the struggle, you're coming out of that struggle. And the Nine of Swords as well, a lot of mental anguish, a lot of worry here. And we've got the Justice card. So justice will be served. You will be okay. Things will work out okay for your advantage here. So Five of Coins, you know, finances are starting to improve here. And we've got the Two of Coins. So you have a decision to make, I feel. There's a decision you need to make, maybe with regard to your finances. <clears throat> and we've got the Five of Swords. So you've been in, in a conflict, in a turmoil, Phil, uh, with regard to finances. We've got the Four of Wands, which is a twin flame card. You could be in a, a twin flame connection that you're separate, in separation here, but there's a wanting for this stability, this commitment moving forward. Yeah, with the Three of Coins, you could have been focusing on projects, um, you know, creative endeavours at this time. And with the Eight of Swords, you've you felt stuck. You know, you, this is a position you put yourself in. You're choosing to not see or or stay stuck at this time for some reason. And we've got the King of Cups. So this could be your love interest, um, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this could be you. You're very much in touch with your feelings right now. So let's clarify that. Yeah, we've got the Ace of Swords. So you, you've got clarity over what you want to do moving forward with regard to this connection, with regard to your finances. And we've got the Three of Cups. You're wanting to celebrate your life. You're wanting to get out there and really celebrate your love, your financial victories. And with the King of Swords, again, this could be another person, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
um, a person who's very much logical, very intelligent. <clears throat> Could be, you know, very um, closed off emotionally though. And the two of wands, you're wanting to make a decision moving forward, okay? You need to make a decision about, maybe you have a choice between two men here that you need to make a decision on. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to start turning in your favour. Things are going to start changing. And with the Chariot, this is a communication or movement forward. And we've got the King of Wands. So <laughs> there could be several people in your life, um, maybe, that you're interested in. But this is a general reading. So this could resonate for other people. You know, this is an air, a fire sign. Aries Libra Gemini, this is somebody who's very action orientated, who goes after what they want, and that ties in with the eight, the chariot card, you know, like going after what they want, taking that action. It could be a reconnection, we've got the six of cups, okay, this could be a reconnection from someone from the past, this could be a past relationship. Or it could be a person you met and it never went anywhere, but there's some sort of reconciliation. And we've got the magician, so I do feel you're manifesting in this change. Because you've been through a tough time, it's been tough financially. You've had lots of worries, lots of sleepless nights. We've got the lovers. So this is a soulmate connection, okay? This person that's coming into your life or someone you already know, this is a soulmate connection. And I feel that you've both been, you know, fantasizing or, you know, really trying to uh, manifest each other back into your lives. So let's get your love messages. So we've got a physical body here. It could be that you're working on yourself, on your physical body, you know, starting to do exercising, um, you know, watching what you're eating and drinking, um, really trying to take good care of yourself. And I feel that you're in this energy of forgiveness. Um, this could be yourself or this could be of a person, of a people in your life, and you're working on that forgiveness right now. Yeah, there could be an ex um, connection here that's really been holding you back and it's saying it's time to clear your energy. So really disconnect from that person, cut cords, cut ties, call an Archangel Michael to help you with this, to allow this new love in, to allow this new thing to birth in your life. There could be children involved, maybe your person has children with another person or you do. Or this is something you both need to talk about moving forward. Is it both something you both want in your lives? And you need to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, your soulmate may not look or be exactly how you imagined. Okay? And it'd be worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, you know, the angels, your guides are around you at this time. And they're bringing you together. And they will let know when the time is right. We've got don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only in being true to yourself you can be true to others. So only do what feels right for you. Okay, don't try and do something to please another person. Because <clears throat> that will never work out. It says wait. Don't rush. Allow nature to take its course. So don't try and rush into a relationship with somebody. It could be any. It could be anything. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So take notice of your intuition. Take notice of your heart. What is your heart telling you to do in this situation? And the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So that goes back to release the X. Okay, release your X and allow yourself to go on a new path and we've got friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so this new person you could start off as just on a friendship level and it could develop into more and then we've got sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred so this person you know could be your twin flame definitely a soulmate 
and it's a truly sacred union that you're going to have that's beautiful so let's get your guidance So we have winter. The answer to your prayers and affirmations are fully realised in the winter months. So this could be about this reconnection or this new connection coming in in the winter months, which we're in now. So not far away. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. So don't worry. Don't, you know, stress. Don't feel anxious. Things are working out in the way they're meant to. Emotional healing. As your heart heals the world, emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. So yeah, you're, you've been doing that work, you're healing, you've been doing that forgiveness work and it, and it talks about releasing your ex and allow your heart to heal, okay, and you'll receive new blessings and love coming in. And your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. So that's beautiful. So if you've been trying to manifest a soulmate, a love, your wish is granted in the winter time. Now a message from the Ascended Masters. You are seeing this situation correctly. So let's see what that's about with Horus. Trust your feelings about this situation because they are accurate and valid. Let go of self-doubt even in the face of others' opinions. Your spiritual sensitivities help you see the truth. Although it may be easy to go along with the crowd or to shrink into apathy, You've called upon to take deci decisive action. You already know what to do. Even if people aren't supporting you, know that spirit is. Other people will soon come around to your point of view. In the meantime, assume a leadership role. Trust your intuition and gut feelings. Ignore critics. Avoid situations or relationships that don't feel right to you. And only you know what is correct for you. So very wise advice there. So let's get some animal spirit messages. We've got Ladybug, good luck. You are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving, colourful you. You bless the world with colour and good luck. So that's beautiful. Definitely, you know, more luck coming in here for you. We've got Peacock, vibrancy. You are born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognise your brilliance. So beautiful colours here. You obviously are a very colourful individual and you need to let your light shine. Cat, independent. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong and you don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. So that's confirmation of the message from the Ascended Masters as well. You you know yourself better than anyone. You follow your own intuition. Only you know what is truly best for you. So some messages from the Work Your Light Oracle. We've got Take a Break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So maybe some of you have been working really hard and... This season, the holiday season coming up, would be a good time to take a break. Just take some time out to relax. Get off the treadmill of life and just, just be. Just be yourself, okay? Soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So connect with your soul family. You know, these could be people in your life. Or these could be people online that you've connected with. Ask for their help and support when you need it, okay? Now some messages from Archangel Michael. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention, I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realise, realising my dreams. And be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me and treat myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt for you so I may experience lasting inner peace. So beautiful. And we have stargazers, set your sights higher. 
So set your sights higher for yourself. Expect the best for yourself. And great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. So I'm getting here that you could be a teacher to teach others spiritual lessons, spiritual wisdom here. Okay, so there are your messages for December. Have a really great month and thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment and I will see you next time. Many blessings.